Hello Summoners, welcome back to another episode of Pro Guide's Best Champion of Main, now on patch 12.22. The champions that we pick for these series are strong picks with high performance, but have low ban rates and are unlikely to get nerfed anytime soon. They're reliable picks for climbing and are worth investing your time in. We'll be starting off in the top lane with Warwick. Warwick top has always been a pretty strong off meta pick, but now he's looking better than ever thanks to the new item choices. The build that we gave is a good generic go to, but don't be afraid to swap things out depending on what foes you're playing against. For better durability in teamfights, Jack Show is super strong. If you're laning against a ranged opponent and want better sticking power, Iceborne Gauntlet is really solid. It's not just the mythics that you can swap out. Aside from Blade of the Rune King, which you always want to rush, his whole build is interchangeable. You can grab more damage for better side laning, or lean more heavily into tank items to be a beefy frontliner for teamfights. Before we go on any further, I just want to take a minute to remind you that while meta videos and other content like this are a great way to pick up some quick tips, if you're super serious about improving, you should head over to ProGuides.com. Our coaching staff is made up of top level players and they're available 24-7, so it's always a good time to stop by. And for just $7.99 a month, you can take your ProGuides experience to the next level. Our premium sub gives you access to all our courses and bootcamp content and we'll even throw in a 10% coaching discount. If you're ready to take your gameplay to the next level, trust me, it's worth every penny. Now, let's get on to our next pick. The second top laner that we have for you today is Camille. Camille's potential for carrying is pretty high, with only a few champions beating her out like Fiora. But unlike Fiora, she doesn't have super high pick and ban rates, making her a champion that you can actually reliably get your hands on in most games. Camille is one of the more mechanically intensive champions in the top lane, but learning her is definitely going to be worth it, so don't give up if you don't have good games right away. The final top laner that we have for you today is Sejuani. Win rate wise, a lot of tanks have actually fallen off since the preseason hit, but that's mostly because people are building them pretty poorly. When built correctly, they're just as strong as before and in some situations, even better. Going Heart Seal is already for 1v1ing foes in the side lane, but Jack Show is where it's at for team fighting. and since you're picking a tank, isn't that your main goal for mid and late game anyway? Taking a look now at the jungle, our first pick is Nocturne. His ability to play for picks with his ultimate makes him a super strong solo queue pick since players lack coordination and will very often overextend just before objectives spawn. This often leads to free dragons and late enough into the game can also be the push that you need to break the enemy base wide open. But playing for picks isn't all he's about. He's technically an assassin, but with his full bruiser built, you're also super comfortable playing to teamfight instead. The next pick that we have for you is Shivana. If you like to play scaling champions, you 100% need to pick her up. Shiv is looking even stronger now than she did in Season 12, which is saying a lot, considering that she was consistently in our OP tier for most of the year. Right before the preseason, Shivana's two best mythics were Frostfire and Triforce. With Icemore Gala giving you the beefiness and sticking power of the first option, but the added damage of a Spellblade effect for Trinity Force, it's no wonder it's so insanely strong on her. You can go on to build the same super beefy AP tank build that's her go-to meta build for a while, or go for an AD Bruiser alternative if your team needs some physical damage. Our last jungler for today is Shin Zhao. He's basically the polar opposite of Shivana. Instead of focusing on clearing camps on cooldown with Shin, you're looking to gank 24-7. The key to playing Shin is simple, play to get yourself fed. You need to snowball early to carry with him. A lot of players think junglers have to gank for the champions that will carry later, but that's such a silly little delusion. When you pick a snowbally champion like Shin Zhao, all that matters is playing to the lanes that can get you fed, even if that means camping a tank's lane. There's a lot of changes in the jungle, and as with any big patch, there's been a lot of discussion as to whether it was good or bad. I personally think that almost all of the changes were positive, especially the part where junglers take more damage in their players. But that's just my opinion, and we want to hear from you. So today's question of the day is, what's your take on the jungle changes? Let us know how you feel in the comments down below, and let's get back into the video. For the mid lane, our first pick is Malzahar. When it comes to low effort picks, there aren't many that beat him out in this role. He is sort of comparable to Enchanters. Both the skill floor and ceilings are pretty low, so there isn't really a lot that you can mess up with him. A lot of people like taking CP on him, but Ghost helps a lot from making picks when Flash is down, so maybe consider taking it instead. Next up we have Swain. Win rate wise, Swain looks a bit weaker since the preseason hit, but there's a pretty simple reason for that. The majority of players are building Rod of Ages on him. I know a lot of players get excited when it was announced that ROA was coming back to League, but it's just a little bit overhyped. Other mythics are just way better. I think the solution is pretty simple. Swap ROA to being a legendary item. If you'd rather have a mid laner with a ton of early game agency, maybe Rumble would be more your speed. He's an incredibly strong laner, with good trading and wave clear that allows him to very easily dictate the pace of the lane. Against foes that disrespect your early strength, this can often lead to solo kills with just a single all-in. If an opponent does show some respect and chooses to back off, you can instead just shove in the lane and look to roam instead. Moving things down to the bot lane, the first pick that we have is Seraphine. 
Yeah, there have been a lot of changes this preseason, but Seraphine being one of the safest yet most broken picks with the bot lane carries isn't one of them. The most broken thing about Seraphine is that she's both a lane bully and has ridiculous scaling. She's all reward with no risk. The second bot lane carry that we have for you today is Twitch. Contrary to what a lot of people think, Twitch actually isn't that weak early game. He's immobile, so you do have to be a little bit smart when you're playing against kill lanes, but in terms of damage output, he's actually pretty strong, and can be a kill lane ADC himself when paired with an aggressive support. He gives you a lot of mid-game agency, since he can actively look to assassinate targets on your own, instead of having to wait for the team to set you up to do anything like most other marksmen have to do. Our last bot lane carry is Tristana. If you want a boss to wall full aggressive 24-7 pick, she's the ADC that you should be picking. Out of all the other kill lane ADCs, she's by far the easiest to play, and on top of that, she's also the least risky. That's because Tristana doesn't absolutely have to snowball early to win. With her super scaling range, Tristana is also late game insurance, turning into hyper carry at the end stages of the game. Now to close things out with our supports, the first pick that we have for you is Sona. When you do pick Sona, your only goal is to make it to team fights. There was a time where you do max Q Sona and try to poke your foes out, but that time is long gone. Now you just max your W and play to survive. When you do Q, you're not doing it to poke, as much as you're stacking your passive. This lack of real presence may make Sona sound useless, and she kind of is early on, but trust me, it's worth it. No one scales better than her, and by the time you hit the mid game, you'll easily surpass the opposing support in terms of usefulness in team fights. The second support we have for you is Tarek. Tarek's kit is a bit clunky and takes some understanding of how it actually works to get results, but once you do, he's a very versatile pick that brings a ton to a team comp. He synergizes with all types of champions. For laning phase, he can peel for longer range, more passive champions, or use his Bastion to send foes when an aggressive ADC goes in and gets up close for trades. In team fights, the same applies. His abilities can be used to peel and protect the backline carries, or help a diver to stay alive and lock down targets when they go in deep. Finishing off our list, we have Fiddle 6. The lane pressure Fiddle 6 has is nuts. He heals too much with his drain to really focus him down in fights, but he also does way too much damage to ignore him. Post 6 is ultimate for super easy all in fights, and most foes have to sit way back or risk being blown up with no counterplay. If your foes are playing too safe for you to do much in lane, feel free to look for roams. With this ultimate allowing you to blink over walls, you can easily find a surprise angle to gank your solo laners. And that's it for the top 3 champions to main in patch 12.22. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you sub so you never miss out on our meta guides, and you're always going to be on the loop on what the best picks are. Remember to let us know how you feel about the jungle changes in the comments below. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below, where you can discuss the further, or just hang out and be part of the community. I can't wait to see you guys back in the next video, but until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.